Hello kids, let us understand more about light. As the light travels from the source to a point, can the light pass through various objects which come in its way? Before this, let us analyze what you do when you play hide and seek with your friends. All the kids love the game of hide and seek. What all places would you like to hide so that you are not seen by others? Yes, you might hide behind a wall or the trunk of a huge tree. Would you like to hide behind a glass window? Not at all because your friends can see through and spot you. That means you cannot see through all the materials, correct? Like in the case of the wall or the tree trunk. So, we cannot see through certain materials and we can see through certain materials. Is there something in between? Yes, let's take the case of a colored glass or dirty water. We can see through them but not clearly. Those substances or materials through which we can see are called transparent materials. Clear glass, clear water, air and some plastics are the example of transparent materials. We cannot see clearly through a deeply colored glass, waxed paper, dirty water and some plastic. That's why they are called as translucent materials. Those substances or materials through which things cannot be seen at all are called opaque materials. Now you must be thinking, why is it so that we can see through a glass but not through a brick wall? Why can we see through transparent but not through opaque objects? We were initially talking about light. So you might also think, what has light to do with all these things? Well, light comes into picture when we talk about the transparency or opacity of things. You know, a glass allows all the light to pass through it and hence we can see through it clearly. Now you know why we can see through all the transparent materials. Translucent materials like a colored or frosted glass transmits only some amount of light. That is, they allow only some amount of light to pass through them. So we can see through them partially, not clearly. Coming to opaque materials like a brick wall and even we humans completely block the light. None of the light passes through. The majority of light is sent back by the object. Hence, we cannot see through the opaque material. So now we conclude that a given object or material could be transparent, translucent or opaque depending on whether it allows light to pass through it completely, partially or not at all. We see the various non-luminous objects like a table or a pen when the light from a luminous object such as sun or torch falls on these and then travels towards our eyes. Have you ever thought what part does the light follow? Is it a straight or curved or zigzag path? Let us find it out. Light a candle and fix it on the table at one end of the room. Take a piece of pipe or a long rubber tube. Now look at the candle through the long pipe or the rubber tube. Is the candle visible now? Yes, it is. Now bend the pipe a little while you are looking at the candle. Is the candle visible now? No. Try to turn the pipe a little to right or left. Still the candle won't be visible from the pipe. So, what do we conclude from this? This suggests that the light travels along a straight line, isn't it? Light in any medium travels along a straight line from the source to any point. 
Just think what would happen if light didn't travel in a straight line. Then the object you see will not be actually where you think it is. It will become difficult to locate the object. Right? But we don't face any such problem because light travels in a straight line. To summarize, Different types of material can pass different amount of light through them. The transparent object allows all the light to pass through it and hence we can see clearly through it. On the other hand, the opaque object does not allow any light to pass through it and hence we cannot see through an opaque object. In between these two lies the translucent object that doesn't allow all but allow only some amount of light to pass through it and so we can see through the translucent object partially but not clearly. And lastly, the light travels in a straight line from a source to any point. That's all for today kids. Enjoy your day. Bye bye kids.